Hello everybody, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Premiere Elements. I want to show you a high-level hack. You'll only find this at MoviePix.com. But I want to show you how to do something that's technically impossible to do in Premiere Elements. I have created a project here, and if you look at all of my video clips, I'm going to right-click on one and show properties. You see these are 1920 by 1080 AVCHD video clips, but somehow my project got set up improperly. If I go to the edit menu, go to project settings general, you'll see this project is set up as 1280 by 720. And as you know, when your project settings don't match your video specs, you can run into all manner of problems. Sometimes some of the effects don't work right, and sometimes some of the tools don't work right, and you get poor performance when you're editing. Technically, you cannot change project settings mid-project in Premiere Elements. It's not possible to do technically, but I want to show you a hack for doing it here. Now the reason my project did not set up automatically is because my very first clip was a graphic. It wasn't part of my video. The very first clip you add to the timeline automatically cues the program to change the project settings to match that clip. So most of the time if you start with the video you're going to be editing, the program will set up automatically to match that video and you'll be golden the whole way through. But because I started with the graphic instead, my project did not set up properly, and now I have a 1280 by 720 project instead of a 1920 by 1080. How do I change it? Well, here's the secret. Click on the timeline, Control A or Command A to select everything on the timeline, then Control X, Command X to cut them. Now, all of my movie is on my clipboard now. It's floating out there in limbo. I'm going to move the playhead to the very beginning. I have an empty timeline. I can now trick my program into changing its project settings. It thinks it's a new project. So let's go here, my project assets, and I can grab any one of these 1920 by 1080 videos, drag it down to the timeline. Boom, it happened, just like magic. When I go to my edit menu, project settings, you see that now I have a 1920 by 1080 project set up perfectly to match my video. Isn't that great? Now all I need to do, select that clip on the timeline and delete it, move my playhead back to the very beginning of the movie, and then Control V or Command V to paste my movie back in there. And now my movie is properly set up, 1920 by 1080, and I can continue to work on my movie with its proper project settings. Now, if you want to know more tips and tricks like that, although that's a hack you'll only find at moviepix.com, you'll want to check out the tips and tutorials we have here at moviepix.com. You want to know everything about this program? The moviepix.com guide to Premiere Elements is available at amazon.com, as well as the moviepix.com guide to Photoshop Elements. I'm Steve Grisetti. I'm the author, and I hope to see you at moviepix.com.